There's only two classifications in cliff diving there. There's a grand champion and then uh, stuff on a rock. Droll and deadpan, no one delivered punchlines like Norm MacDonald. Very hard to make a comeback in that sport, I'll tell you that. MacDonald first cut his teeth as a stand-up in Ottawa. First of all, I couldn't get away from those damn blue eyes. He looked like Paul Newman in The Hustler. Kenny Robinson you know, said he stood out so from the beginning. Know, you know, Norm always danced to his own beat, you know. Um, you know, that's why uh, you couldn't steal his material because it was Norm. Yeah. And he had that delivery. His big break came behind the weekend update desk on Saturday Night Live. Well, this coming Monday is Oscar night, and three films, The English Patient, Secrets and Lies, and Shine, are locked in a tight race in the category Best Picture There's Not a Chance in Hell I Will Ever See. McDonald's jokes could be cruel and cutting, naughty or clean, but never predictable. He didn't care uh, whether you connected to the joke or not or his POV. He just believed it believed how funny it was. McDonald was also a favorite late night guest who kept the hosts in stitches. Well, you know, a man grows. He, he, uh... <laughs> Today, there was shock as fans learned McDonald had been battling cancer for nine years. His brother, former CBC News correspondent Neil McDonald, said he didn't want it to affect the way he was perceived. But a few years ago, Norm McDonald took aim at the concept of losing the battle to cancer. I mean, if you die, the cancer also dies at exactly the same time. So that, to me, is not a loss, that's a draw. That's a, you know what I mean? Today, his colleagues sang his praises. Steve Martin called him one of a kind, and his friend Jim Carrey called him an honest and courageous comedy genius. Norm McDonald was 61. Eli Glasner, CBC News, Toronto.